Can Nvidia go tomorrow? Absolutely. I, you know, I still like Nvidia. Um, I think, you know, I don't think you could expend, uh, expect any more, you know, ten dollar candles. But can you get two dollar candles tomorrow? Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge master your process and own your future hey guys good evening everybody welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the axis of trader.com nightly wrap-up show hope everybody's doing well hope everybody uh, had a good trading day uh, have a the hell do I have today basketball game right after this I literally have to get out of here in 20 minutes again dad life never uh, never ends which is a good thing right which is absolutely a good thing again they grow up uh, way too fast so I'm gonna kind of cut this short and sweet so a lot of people are just complaining about summer trading, this, that, the other thing. I guess it all depends what you're trading. Uh, if you are in uh, mid-cap stocks, maybe they're a little bit slow, right? If you are in uh, your specialty small cap names, maybe one day they're they're very strong, maybe the next day they're very weak. Uh, you know, again, we trade technology. We trade uh, a lot of beta names, you know, the mega cap uh, names that have very, very big ranges. So for the most part, it's been, you know, it's been pretty good, right? Um, you know, there's been really big moves uh, and a lot of names, you know, the videos of the world, the Teslas of the world and all that, all that stuff. So I, I think it's very, very tough to kind of put a label of what this market is doing. But when we did discuss uh, yesterday, right, we are in the final kind of like month uh, before kids go back to school. So you, you are going to have uh, days that are slower, right? You're going to have days that you're going to be sitting there and say, well, how come my stocks are not moving? How come the groups that I follow uh, are not participating? You know, such is life, right? Life is not fair. Trading is not fair sometimes. Let that be the worst problem you have in trading is a day that your stocks are not moving. Um, the biggest, con you know, the bigger concern or the bigger picture is kind of what happens next. And, you know, when, when I looked, you know, when I looked at this this afternoon and I saw the Dow down 250 points and ultimately it was closed down 300 and change, we really, even, it, 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 again, unless you're trading Dow stocks, you, you're not going to even feel that because, it, again, as we discussed yesterday, nobody's around, man. All, all the guys that are swinging really big money, they're, you know, they're really on vacation or whatever the case may be, but nobody's really uh, looking at the market from the point of, well, the Dow is down 300 points. Who cares, right? Who cares? Again, the, the scoreboard is not going to make you right or wrong in your individual trading. Right now, technology is still very, very good. So for every, you know, for every stock that's just not participating like for example right amazon uh amazon is just you know not doing anything right it, it, it came in uh with earnings and it's just kind of floating you know microsoft uh is kind of going sideways apple you know attempted to break out yesterday it's just kind of just chilling here right off this 147 area it's just sitting here right you got tesla had this monster three four day run it's just consolidating right now right so not every single day are you going to have these monster potential moves but the names that are coming out of the channel, both the long and the short side, they're doing their thing, right? They're really, really, you know, they're very strong in that direction. So, for example, when you look at Zoom today, it finally came out of a channel and it's taken out highs. Now it looks like uh, this thing looks like this 407 test is on is on tap for tomorrow. Uh, I would love to see Tesla one more day kind of distribute a little bit, right? Kind of rest, kind of get its... Uh, feet underneath and I would love to see kind of a test here on this rising five uh, day support if you saw last time it hit the five day support perfectly bounced the best again the best case scenario for the next couple of days is seeing a washout into the five day support shorts getting trapped at that level the stock goes to red to green and starts taking out uh, its recent highs we'll see right we'll see again we're still seeing a lot of good order flow uh, option order flow coming on the 750 short term into extreme weakness, that's a very, very good sign. We'll see. NVIDIA finally broke out today. I quoted it yesterday, I quoted it again today. Uh, again, those 205 call buyers we've been seeing now for two weeks, you know, they're, they're getting aggressive. You know, they're, you're seeing them more and more every single day. And the one thing that you have to understand about NVIDIA right now, it's a $200 stock. It's not an $800 stock anymore, okay? You're not gonna see a $12 candle. A $2 candle is good. That's exactly what we saw today uh, off that $200 break. Uh, it confirmed 200. It confirmed uh, the previous day's high of 202 uh, and change, traded up to 203. Again, I could see this thing uh, getting to that 206, even 209 level. Again, the stock looks really, really good. Again, those are the names uh, we want to um, 
concentrate on, can continue to concentrate on. Uh, and, and the flip side, right? We've been talking about uh, GameStop and AMC for three days, right? We talked about that first pivot on GameStop below 58. We talked about that next pivot on GameStop below 55. We talked about the pivot today on GameStop uh, below 48. The stock went to 45. This thing loses 45. Again, there's still room here, another $12, $13 worth of room. We talked about AMC in nausea, right? In nausea. We had this uh, 40, 34, 50 uh, range break. It went down to 32.78, lost 32.78, went down to 31.15, lost 31.15, and now the stock is trading uh, in the low 29s. Again, it still has room, you know, 27, 25. Again, we still see uh, short term, um, short term, 25 and 30 dollar put the, put buyers are going to start lighting up uh, on their premium. So again, I, I think to overthink is right now is kind of irresponsible because you're not going to get this whole macro psychology approach of what's going to happen next. There's a lot of names that look good for tomorrow, but but don't think everything's going to rally. Don't think everything's going to sell off. I, I think right now uh, this is the, the epitome of a specialized individual market. If you, if you like your setup on the long side and it confirms, it's probably going to go in that direction unless you have some really weak volume behind it. If the stock looks weak and kind of fails a range, the fact that nobody's really here to, to support that bid, it's probably going to drift lower. And you're seeing that on AMC, on a GameStop as well. You know, talk about weak, right? Uh, this earnings quarter has not been great, right? For every name that's been good, you know, like a Clack or, you know, like a DXCM, uh, names like that, right? Really, really good quarters. There's a lot of quarters that haven't been, you know, haven't been good, right? Amazon did not have a good quarter. Netflix did not have a good quarter. Facebook did not have a quarter, which had a nice move up today. I still kind of like Facebook for tomorrow if it confirms the 10. But this earnings season technology has not really been great. And if you look at today's action, you got FSOY, uh, FSOY, uh, you know, they got hit, right? You got Roku, right? They got hit. I was sitting under my desk, metaphorically speaking, of course, and saying, maybe they'll split, maybe they'll split, maybe they'll split, right? This stock needs a split. But again, this thing is getting hit as well. Uh, you look at Etsy and the online shopping, this thing is getting hit as well. So the earnings are not great. You know, they're not great. They're not fabulous. But at the end of the day, when you look at the market, look where we are in macro, right? Look where we are in macro on the QQQs. We're just literally a stone throws away uh, from all time highs. So going into tomorrow, I mean, look, this is definitely names I like. I, I think we can have a premium session if the market holds well, right? Um, but, but that has to happen, and, that, and that's the point. And if it doesn't happen, the last thing you want to do is try to recreate a trade where there's no trade uh, to be recreated. Let the trades come to you. Again, remember, we're in August. Labor Day is you know a couple of weeks away. You're not going to try to squeeze out every inch of this market before the big herd mentality with the really big money comes back from the Hamptons, comes back uh, from Europe and all that good stuff as well. So be patient. The days that these stocks are go getting vertical, those are the days that the channels are expanding. And they're pretty obvious. So can NVIDIA go tomorrow? Absolutely. I, you know, I still like NVIDIA. Um, I think, you know, I don't think you could expend, uh, expect any more, you know, $10 candles, but can you get $2 candles tomorrow? Another $2 candle tomorrow, the following day? Absolutely. Because again, it's not an $800 stock anymore. So for every, you know, for every, you know, $10 candle that you're going to have, you know, pre-split, you're going to have the candle $2. It's the same thing. The only good thing I love about NVIDIA right now, it's super duper liquid uh, and it moves very, very organically. So now back to back days, a pretty good uh, action there. So obviously any dip in the video I like tomorrow, uh, especially above today's channels. Uh, Zoom, again, I like any dip tomorrow into rising su support. Uh, it's coming up to this uh, 406, 407 level. It looks really, really good. Look, you know, look at a name, for example, like RBLX. We saw some good call buying uh, in the name today. First move into supply. Remember, the last move into supply got stuffed and the stock went all the way lower. So tomorrow it has to reclaim this channel. But if it does, I mean, look how much room you have. It's good. It's a good value play. Uh, TTD, another name, looks pretty good, right? Had you know had a big, big move, came back in, reclaimed this whole channel. Let's see if there's a day two run uh, in this thing as well. So I, I think the key from now uh, to Labor Day, again, 
Keep it simple, stupid, right? I, I'm not checking for no mRNAs. I'm not looking for, for, uh, for, for Robin Hood. I don't care about these stocks. These stocks are retail heaven. That's like the pigeons flocking in the park when somebody throws a piece of bread. Everybody's trying to get that little crumb. Hey, I'm not checking for that. Nah, I don't want any of that. I'm good, right? I'm good with these boring beta stocks. They're controllable, they're predictable, and this is where you get the big institutional money flow. And if the flow is there, the price action uh, is going to follow. So guys, have a great night. I'm sorry to cut this early. Uh, another basketball game. Uh, Beckons, again, dad life in full effect, right? Guys, have a great night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.